Hi everyone, Mr. Brandt here. Um, I had a request by a student who wanted me to show some things that I do uh, when drawing eyes. And so I'm gonna show you some things uh, with real eyes and also with some different styles of cartoon eyes. Um, but if you're doing cartoon type things or comics, a lot of times the eyes can be pretty much any way you want. But I'm gonna show you some techniques that help me in drawing eyes, okay? So here we go. The first thing is when we're drawing an eye, and I'm just gonna talk about the parts of the eye because you wanna think about that. The first part of the eye is going to be your upper eyelid. And your upper eyelid is going to come around and depending on if you're looking at a picture or not, you're gonna have a nice upper eyelid, something like that. Then if you look in your eye, on the inside corner of your eye, you have what I call a little tear duct. Kind of looks something like this. Sometimes it's more pointed, sometimes it's more round, okay? Then when we go to the bottom eyelid, I like to come in first and then down and around for the bottom eyelid. And I always do an eye check here because I want to see if my eye is open enough. Is it too open? Is it not open enough? Another little trick, you always want your upper eyelid to be a little bit longer than your bottom eyelid. Okay? And if I'm happy with that, we're in good shape. Now, we've got to draw the iris, which is the color part of the eye. Okay? But there's one thing about it. The color part of the eye is overlapped by the top eyelid. So when we draw that, we don't just want to draw a circle. We want to start like it's coming from underneath. So I start right in here and I sketch nice and light, go down and touch the bottom, come up and around like so. Okay? And make sure that it fits in there because you don't see, even when you're just looking at somebody, you can see. You don't see the whole pupil or the whole iris. Okay? You just see part of it because it's overlapped. Then you have a pupil. The pupil is the black circle in there, and it's not just a tiny dot, but it's a black circle, like so, okay? And so then we have those parts in. Now, one of the things that is really important with drawing eyes is adding those highlights where the light reflects off the eye. And so I like to draw sometimes if I'm just making it up a little highlight there and maybe even a little highlight inside. Sometimes you have two or three highlights, sometimes just one. Okay. Now, the next part of the eye is when your eye is open, you have a little eyelid fold. It's not the eyebrow. It's a little line that comes up. Sometimes there's two lines and it might come around like so and you have a nice eyelid fold. And I'll just go ahead and get into, but I like to also sketch in the eyebrow in there, just the shape of the eyebrow, depending on what kind of drawing you're doing, whether you just wanna color it in or draw little hairs in it. Now, when you're looking at a realistic eye, one of the things you wanna make sure you get in is some eyelashes. And I know sometimes, um, People don't like to make very long eyelashes, but they always go away from the tear duct. And so they just kind of curve up and around. Sometimes you have some little ones on the bottom coming out in this area, like so. Now, one thing about when you're shading or coloring in, and we'll talk about color in a minute, is you usually have a darker band right on the outside like so. This is usually darker. So if I'm just doing it in a pencil, I'm going to take my pencil and make that a little darker. My pupil's going to be nice and black or dark with the pencil. And obviously if you're using markers or color pencils or crayons, you can do that with an actual black. Now, the next thing I want to come because the eyes have these little lines that come out and little specks. And so I like to come out from the pupil and so maybe come out like that. I might go in and just kind of shade the eye just a little bit in here and then go in and do some darker lines 
coming out from the pupil just to kind of give it that eyeball look, okay? Another thing that adds a big difference is underneath this eyelid, usually it's shaded just a little bit. It's a little bit darker and your tear duct is a little darker, so I'll put a little shadow just under that eyelid there, okay? And then obviously if you're gonna go in and shade your skin and do some value on your skin. But that kind of gives you the idea of drawing in an eye, okay? Now, if I were doing this in color or doing something else with that, um, I might draw, and I'll just do a really quick one. If I'm gonna draw in more of a realistic eye, I'm gonna draw this in. And then maybe I want to do this one with Sharpie. So I might take my pen, outline it like so. I want to make sure I get those highlights in. I want the darker band around the outside. And I might do something like this. Now I'm not going to draw the whole thing, but you can see I can go like this. Maybe I want my highlight to be right there. Um, then I might go in and color if I'm going to use Sharpie or marker or color pencil, like so. And then maybe for this one, if I'm going to do color, I might, if I want a blue eye, I like to go in and do a nice light blue first, like so. I don't want to color the highlight. I want to do a nice light blue first and then just like a real eye just like a real eye I have a different kind of thing where I'm gonna put in my light value of blue and then I'm gonna go in and do some little black specks coming around little lines coming in and out so that I have a nice value to my eye and that just gives and I can put different colors sometimes you have turquoise or you have a little bit of blue green those kind of things in your eye don't forget the outside edge here I'm going to color with a dark band around it I want to make sure I get a dark band and again on this video if you ever need to stop and pause just stop and pause and go ahead and catch up with what you're doing. But this is gonna give you a little bit of a look to coloring in an eye with color, with the regular pencil. Now, if you're doing eyes together, one of the tricks that you've gotta really watch out for is making sure that when you're laying out a face, if you want to, just make sure you make some little dots that are even and about balance the same way. You can even measure this out and have an inch, an inch, and an inch. Because when you're doing eyes, usually they're the same length, and then there usually can be one eye in between. And so if I'm doing real eyes, I'm gonna start and do my upper eyelids right in here. But that's just kind of a nice way to lay it out and to put those kind of things in there. That works out really well. And then obviously you can go and do the rest of the parts that we just talked about for the eye. And we get the tear duct in, we get the iris, we get all of those things into the eyes that we're drawing, okay? So we have the pupil, we have all those different things. Now, when we're done with that, I wanted to talk to you just for a minute about doing some different kind of eyes. Um, and I'm just going to draw with my Sharpie here just to kind of show you. Another type of eye is just our basic cartoon eye, where you might just go in and just draw a nice oval, put what adds a lot to it is to put a couple highlights in it. Um, if you're drawing it and you want it to look a little more uh, female, you might add some eyelashes to it. Uh, so you could have some very simple eyes like so, okay? That's just another way that you can draw some eyes in a simple way and add those little eyelashes and so like that. Another way is kind of more like the anime 
where you're going to draw kind of a thicker line on top. And I like to just draw a little line coming here and then wherever you want the eye to go to, doing another little line here. And then you're going to draw the nice big pupil. This guy looks like he's kind of angry, but that's okay. And I might draw a little line coming there, draw the nice pupil in there, put in a big couple little highlights. And then obviously I could go in and do the same kind of thing with my color pencil. Okay, I can still go in and do the dark and the light, that kind of stuff right in through there. Okay, and again, I can add, if I want to add kind of the eyelashes to it, I can do that, but I don't have to. Um, there's a lot of other kind of things. If you want to create a different, here's kind of one of my fun ones for cartoons, is just doing a couple ovals that are connected like so and then putting the little pupils inside here put a little highlight like so and i have another kind of fun little eye on that okay kind of going like the realistic if you want just doing if you think okay i'm going to draw my upper eyelid if you think of the parts to it and then i'm going to draw my lower eyelid and then maybe put my iris overlapped here maybe my pupil put a couple highlights color in my pupil here um, put if you think about that putting that eyelid fold up there uh, you could even put the little tear duct and then obviously I can go in and color the type of color of eye that I want to do Okay, I can add some eyelashes if I want to add the eyelashes to it. Um, that's just another way to do eyes. Um, if you want it more, some of the female eyes, if you want to go and do something like this, where you have more with the little eyelashes that are more just kind of colored in and thick. And I'm just going to kind of put some eyelashes there and then I could put the iris and the pupil leave the little highlight maybe put a little highlight in the pupil like so and then I can go in and put some color in the eye and that's just another way to do an eye um, but there are so many ways and I'm just looking at a sheet I have here that that I've done some things with um, doing different kind of shapes. So maybe I want to do something like this where I like to draw the little line here and maybe I'm going to draw, I know it kind of looks like a house, but then I can go in and draw my big iris, my big pupil, put my highlight, my highlight, uh, maybe my eyelashes come here. Obviously, the nose would be in this area here. And then I can go in and color the iris. And you can see that gives you a different kind of eye. And really, you can make up about any kind of eye you want. Um, if you go back to what we talked about here, even if you're doing a cartoon, if you take those basic principles, think upper eyelid, Tear duct, lower eyelid, overlap at the top here. Do your iris and your pupil, your highlight, maybe some eyelashes if you want, your eyelid fold, and then you color in the color of your eye. That gives you, I mean, that can be for any kind of thing that you're doing. If you think of those parts, for doing the eye okay now I hope this helps um, I will put on Schoology I have a couple sheets that show some eyes nose and mouths some bitmoji faces um, those kind of things if you're looking for something like that I will put these sheets on Schoology and you can download those and have those if you want also in that packet is uh, some heads 
that I've drawn and maybe how to draw hair, dark hair, light hair, or medium hair and light hair. Um, I, these are all going to be on Schoology and you can certainly download those and get those if you want or email me and I'll send you those three sheets. So hopefully this helps a little bit with eyes and hopefully this will help you out in what you're doing later on. I'll probably do a nose version and a mouth version very, very soon. So um, keep drawing. Remember, art is essential and have a great, great day. See y'all.